Hello friends, welcome back to Coding Casually and today's topic is how we can make a finance app and represent the same into a web application. So there are many ways you can do it. You can use Flask, you can use Django as well, but then there is a simple way to do it as well. So what we can do is we can use the data science part of the Python and represent the same into a web application. So I'm sure that you know you must have heard about Yahoo Finance through which you can pull out the data for stocks. So today what we'll do is we'll pull out the data for one stock symbol and then try to represent the same into a web application. So right now we would be doing it, dealing with a very basic app of stocks. But furthermore we'll be making more videos to represent, or the, to represent the web application in a different way altogether. But this time it will be a very simple or a basic one. But I think you should learn the way where we use three different uh, kind of uh, modules for the same. The first one is Pandas, the second one is Streamlit, which will help us in making the web application, and the third one is the Yahoo Finance. So on my system, as you can see, uh, I have opened Visual Studio Code, and I have named the file flash email. I'll tell you why. But uh, what you can do here is you can start writing the code, and for that, what we can do is we can import why finance this is the yahoo finance uh, app module if you don't have it what you have what you can do is you can hop onto your scripts uh, folder i have anaconda with me and then you can open this uh, folder in cmd and if you have admin rights that should be well and then you can do pip installation of why finance and similarly you have to install streamlit as well okay so the moment you do it what you can do is you can go back to your um, uh, Visual Studio Code. I have Visual Studio Code. There's a good possibility that you have a different ID. That is fine. Now, what you need to do is import Y Finance. I don't want to write Y Finance again and again. So I'll say YF and I'll import Pandas because there's a data frame involved in it. And then we'll import Streamlit. Streamlit and again, I don't want to write Streamlit. So I'll say st. So now what you're gonna do is you can write st dot write. St dot write means I'm using the streamlit module, and I'll say something about the data. It's basically a label for the charts that we'll be making. So let's go with the stock app, and then what we can do is we can write the symbol we want to pull the data for. So this time let's pull out for Maruti and multi.ns is something that I got to know after visiting the Reliance website uh, I mean this is the Reliance one you can write Maruti and you'll see Maruti NS which is the Maruti Suzuki stock so now what you can do is um, this is the stock symbol you, you have it right now with you and then what you can do is now you have it with you and then you have to write data which is you have to put it uh, you have to pull the data for Maruti symbol. Now what we'll do is we'll write YF, which is the Yahoo Finance uh, module, and say ticker, and then pass in symbol. And now what we can do is we can make a data frame out of it, and we say DF equals to data, and we want to pull history of the data, and we want to pull it in a day manner. So we'll say period equals to one day, which is day wise. So we are not doing it minute wise. You can do it as that as well, but then probably you have to make many changes in terms of the next parameters that I'll show you. The next parameters is our start, which is the start date. And then let's start with 2020 and I'll start with the zero one zero one, which is January. And then I'll say end where 2020 or 7 or 4, which is which was yesterday for me. And then I'll try to see whether I get the data or not. In the moment I have this, 
this time for the basic app we'll make a line chart and then say df uh, dot close which is the closing one and then if I copy and paste it here I can say let's check the volume of the stocks and then sy should not be there it should be st and then let's run the application first and as we can see the application ran because we have the data with me I have this data and in order to use Streamlit for this, which is basically the web, web application, what you can do is uh, you can, the moment, as I told you that, you know, if you are in scripts, what you can do is you can uh, go into the same folder and uh, control C for cancelling and you can write the same script that you can see on my screen, which is Streamlit. You have to be in the scripts folder if you are not using virtual environment. And then you can write Streamlit and then in with the place where the py file resides and you have to write run and then let's see what happens as you can see you know this is the address of the application and i already have it open i guess and if i don't i already have it open so as you can see that you know this is something that we wrote and this is the data of the stock if you want to change it you can simply close it and then you can on this screen on, on, on the black screen you can see which is the CMD you can press control C to close this and you can change the symbol if you want to I can do that by going on to you know finance and then write let's go for Wipro this is the symbol for Wipro and if I change it over here I can press control S and then I can run the same py5 and then the application will open by itself and you can see this is a different chart altogether and this is 224 as value and you can see it's 262 so it's very near about here we have 227 which is july 17th yes this is july 17th and similarly you can gauge up the chart per day per minute per 30 seconds this is something it totally depends upon you this is a very nice app but there are many things that you can do with this if you want to do if you want to change the interface you want to change this that is also fine if you like the video please press the like button please do comment and tell me how you want to see the finance app to be worked for and uh, please subscribe to the channel thank you